Let's form here for us to step on. Guys, I almost went, I almost went the other way and missed this. We're going to get some breakfast and some waterproof trousers. All right, so a couple of things. Firstly, I didn't bring any waterproof trousers. Secondly, it's gonna rain all week. So, if I wanna go anywhere, I'm gonna have to buy some waterproof trousers, maybe a poncho or something, because I don't even think this is waterproof. So the plan is to walk into town, go to the tourist information thing, ask about the best hikes for uh, when it's raining and when it's bad weather, get some waterproof trousers, get some food, and maybe explore a bit and then see where we go. So it's kind of a weird vlog today. So this is quite far out, this is where this, the town really begins, here. And I've already walked for uh, around about five minutes. And there's that, oh no, that's something else. That's um, another field park type area. In fact, let's cut through there and see what there is. looks kind of interesting some sort of it looks like a bunker green bunker so I want to know what that is this place would be great for uh, thinking about two videos ago there was a place where they do paintball I showed you guys and that was really cool What this would also be amazing for is um, mountain biking. I think there's a lake. Yeah, there's a lake. I'm gonna go and climb up to the top of this bit and see what the lake is. It's like one of the houses from Lord of the Rings, almost. Except not as good looking and not in New Zealand. Although it could be, this kind of looks like a New Zealandy type landscape, doesn't it? That looks like a water park. But I don't know if I want to go to a water park right now. And that, my friends, is a spa. That's a spa. You know how I can tell because there's water, there's steam coming off the top of that pool. I don't know if you can see it from there. But I did look on the map earlier. How cool, okay. All right, let's just get some food and some trousers first. Priorities, right? But I'm very glad that I've found a spa so close to where I'm staying, that's great. By the way, if you're watching this, leave a, leave a quick comment or something saying, telling me something funny or something about France or Chamonix or just let me know what these videos are like, I guess. Air sports, I think that's for paragliding. But I'm not sure I fancy doing that unless it's gonna be sunny. The weather's just not good enough for that sort of thing. Well, there's a map of the valley. And there's a paintball in the middle that I was talking about. It all looks so clean. I love it. And then there's a, an ice rink over here. That is a cool residence. Don't know if that's a hotel or something. Let's go and walk by the track side here. This will be a very cool place to do to go for a jog, go for a run, play basketball, whatever. That's the best part about having a wide angle vlogging camera, is I can just take a video and then get a picture from it later. Let's go. Oh, the rain started to come in again. You can see the clouds over there. What a cool place. The view is actually better than that, but the clouds are sort of obscuring it a bit. Another one of those spas I was thinking about going to, but I think this one's a bit too central. I want one with a better view. Cool river. Cool. 
This is where I stayed last time, I think, on the fourth floor. And the tourism office is just up here, if I remember correctly. So the plan is, I found a hike which is about 40 minutes to a waterfall, but I need to get some waterproof trousers first, get some breakfast, and then I'm gonna go and see that. I don't know how impressive it is. I might look it up on Google Maps or something, and see if it's worth walking to. Found some. 30 euros there. Perfect. Now, I'm on the right track, I've got the waterproof trousers, but I think I'm going to have to switch to waterproof mode, which means no audio, you won't be able to hear me. However, I'm sure I'll put some sort of awesome music over it and basically this is going to be, start, this is going to be the start of a, a hiking montage, so let's go. Alright, we're in wet weather gear now, so it doesn't matter if it rains, it's not going to stop me. The only thing is, it's very warm in these trousers already. Very warm. Never mind. I'm hoping it's going to get colder if I go really high up. Maybe I should just slow down a bit. They actually look pretty cool, I think. What do you think? Okay, I'm just a little bit away from Chamonix Sud bus station, just behind me there. And the hike is somewhere this direction. I'm just gonna walk up and there should be signposts for this hike, it's a waterfall. So yeah, I'm excited. I've also come out with absolutely no money, so, uh, well, after buying the watery trousers, so I don't think I can get any ski lift or anything like that today. This is the one, Cascade du Dar. 45 minutes. There's even a refreshment stop, which I can't use because I've got no money with me. <laughs> it's this way, it's 45 minutes. Well, now it's not raining at all. <laughs> I feel a bit silly with all my waterproof gear, look at this. Crazy, and I'm so hot already. I'm not, I've barely walked three minutes. The temperature's actually pretty warm when you get walking. Never mind. Hopefully I'm gonna see a bear or a wolf or something in these woods. I'm, I bet there's bears. It's so nice to just come out into nature like this and just walk around. It'll be good when I'm a bit outside of the town because I won't be able to hear the road and noises and things like that. But these woods are beautiful, look at this. It's amazing. Right, at this point, I want you to guess in the comments how many times I'm gonna moan about not having my drone with me or my wide angle lens. I think I'll probably moan about three times in total. All right, we're officially in the woods. Officially in the woods, very exciting. What does this say? So I think this woodland is inspected every now and then. Not sure why, just to make sure it's being protected and things like that. So I'm guessing it's not that way, because this waterfall, I assume, quite a few people go to, so I think it's this way. What do we think, guys? Yeah, it's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. I've not seen any signposts yet. I've been walking for a good 20 minutes and I've not seen any signposts saying that I'm on the right on the right hiking trail. Pretty sure it's this way. I'm gonna have to go down and then cut 
across the road later on. Don't fancy running in this. I think we're on the right track now. Down this way, to the left, and we're there. Possibly I'll have to cross the big road down the end. And that's it guys, that's the waterfall. No, it's not really. <laughs> I'd be pretty annoyed if I'd walked for 40 minutes and it was just a trickle. Uh, we want to see a proper waterfall. Anyway, as I was deciding what shoes to bring on this trip, I was going to bring trainers, but then I suddenly thought, hold on a minute, if all the melt water from the snow starts to melt, it's going to create things like this everywhere. And obviously someone's put a platform here for us to step on. But without my waterproof boots, that would have been very annoying. Okay. Oh, wow. One, two, three directions. Three directions we can... Oh, there's a sign both. That's fine. Now that's back to the way we came. That's Chamonix down there. That, I think, is towards the waterfall, but I'm going to check anyway, just to make sure. All right, so what's this, what's this signpost say? Cascade du Dard. That is where we're going. But it's taking me back the way I came. Okay. Deviation. Cascade du Dard, let's set a deviation. Ah, okay. Let's go higher up. Let's go, let's go higher up and see where that takes us. This will be so good to mountain bike. In fact, it's very tempting to just rent a mountain bike right now. I think that's the path it meant, isn't it? It's okay to da. Oui. All right, we're very much in the woods now. Now, I decided against bringing my hammock. I was gonna bring my hammock and sling it between one of these, two, two of these trees. But I thought with the weather being so bad, you know, it's raining, it's cloudy. I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna be doing, so I decided against it and I've just instead brought a very light setup with me. Literally just clothes, camera, phone, laptop, that's it. I didn't even bring many clothes, really. Pretty smooth transition, right? In fact, wow, that's a huge slug. Look at the size of that. All I've seen on this hike is slugs. Slugs and mosquitoes, I guess. Look, there's another one. Well, I can hear the waterfall now, so we can't be far away. This is the smallest hike ever, by the way. Normally I do quite long hikes, but this one's... I think I'll be there in half an hour. Do I look cool in my waterproof trousers? <laughs> I wonder how many times I'm going to mention my waterproof trousers as well in this, in this vlog. I don't know. Almost there now. We made it! Finally got to the waterfall. I'm gonna go round actually, I'm gonna go and see. I'm gonna go and see if I can get around the other side. Oh look at this off-roading we're doing here guys, off-piste. We're going off-piste. You see what I did there? I used a skiing term because we're in a ski town. I just realised this vlog might actually just be eight minutes of me saying let's continue and we're almost there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wow. This looks similar to the forest where the Blair Witch Project was filmed. Anyone remember that film? It's quite old. Well, it's too hot to wear waterproof trousers now. Now that I've finished doing that insane dance to get out of those trousers, I have no idea how difficult they are to take off. They just sort of cling to your boots. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Anyway, they're off now. And I think, have I come to a dead end? Oh, it goes round, okay. I can't have come to a dead end already, I've just got serious, I've taken off my trousers. <laughs> We've been locked in. I wonder what is over there. That's the path, apparently. But I've got to see what's this way. I mean, what could it... 
Oh. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Let's go over here. Pandia Grilli, Cascade de Dar, Sera, Chamonix. And that's the cafe, which I can't do anything in because I've got no money with me. What a beautiful hike. And to think this is only this is only half an hour away from Chamonix. You can literally just get a bus to Chamonix from wherever you are, Geneva, and then walk here and you've got an entire range of... Hold on a second. Is this the path to the cafe? This looks so overgrown. I wonder how the stabilisation is doing on this camera. It was between this and the GoPro. And the GoPro, you know, I actually bought one. The GoPro Hero 7 Black. I bought one specifically for vlogging and hiking and travelling and that sort of thing. It arrives, and I very quickly found out that the battery doesn't stay in. Or it does stay in, but you can't, you can't pull it out, because the tab is too stiff. And I returned one, thinking it was a, a faulty product, which of course it was. I then bought another one from another store, and the exact same thing happened. So I just returned it, and went with my what was going to be my first choice anyway, which is this one. The Sony FDR X3000. And I love it. Although the stabilisation is not as good as the GoPro, it's still pretty good for me. I'm not sure if I'll be able to go much further here. I think this might be the end of the road. Oh, unless it carries on up here. Yeah, it carries on. Okay. So... I don't think they have anything for a Euro, which is all I have with me. It's a cute little cafe though. When the clouds are not there, it must be beautiful. Oh wow! How do I miss this, guys? I almost went. I almost went the other way and missed this. Beautiful. Okay. Well, we'll go here first then. Wow. Why would you do a silly yoga pose in such a dangerous place? I don't know. <laughs> what else am I going to do? Makes a cool picture though. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So I took my trousers off, because it wasn't raining enough. And now that I've come here, they're soaked. Must be the mist from that waterfall. Should we go and sit in there for a while? What's through there, do we think? Well, I'm about to find out. This is the first video in a series I'm calling Steph Investigates. Alright. 